This is Master Gia with uh, Jen and Sylvia Saska, the Saska twins and the Twisted twins. Hi, Gia. Hi, how you doing? I haven't seen you since uh, Monster Mate, well, New York Comic Con and when we ran into it, AVN. So. How fun is the AVN? Oh my God, so awesome. It's the best, everyone should go. Yeah, and they act so much more respectful than the Oscars, like all of them cry when they win. Yeah, it was, well it's a consent culture too, it's super not rapey, like I was wearing like this little panel dress and everyone was like, oh my God, girl, you look so nice. No one tried to touch me, I was like, what? The most explicit thing anyone said is, have I done a scene with you yet? Cause I'd like to, and I was like, oh, that's nice, but no, different kind of movies. <laughs> what was like the, your favorite moment at the AVNs? Tommy Pistol! <laughs> Tommy Pistol's the Neil Patrick Harris of hosting. The fact that the AVNs don't have him every year. Shame. Shame. Well, He's we're, the best. Well, I want to host with him. Me yeah. and Jen and Tommy. Uh, we're helping Axel Braun cast uh, Deadpool Triple X. Thank you, Axel. Thank you. Oh my God. It's one of the biggest honors of my life. I'm very serious about my Deadpool. And so my finally, porn, we're involved so. in a Deadpool movie, right? Awesome. <laughs> you guys should have been involved in a Deadpool movie forever. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We're getting in the back door. Hello. <laughs> I'm so proud you're my sister. I'm proud of you. <laughs> so what have you been up to? We are remaking David Cronenberg's Rabbit. Um, it's with Telefilm, and it's the first time we've had the Canadian government like supporting one of our movies, so it's super exciting, but it takes a little bit longer to get it all structured and ready to go. Uh, I wanted to originally, you know, the tentacle comes out of her armpit, right? right, right. Well, you know where I wanted the tentacle to come out of. Huh? Oh. Well, then I found out David also wanted the tentacle to come out of there. <gasps> yeah, we both got shot down. Don't worry, it's going to be good. Did you ever guys meet or talk to David? I have never talked to David. He saw American Mary, and when we had the uh, Canadian premiere in Toronto, we were going to go meet him, but uh, it never worked out. We couldn't leave. They wouldn't let us leave our premiere. I was like, David called. I got to go. But they wouldn't they would understand. Go. It's David fucking Cronenberg. <laughs> but we know Brandon. Brandon's cool. We were in W for uh, W is for Wish. In, in, uh, in uh, ABCs of Death, too. We met him in a pink toga. I ripped his heart out and still put a crystal in his chest. So we are pretty tight. Yeah, we're tight. <laughs> Marilyn's really sweet. I got to meet her once. Oh, well, you know, my parents both met Marilyn, and they have her autograph, so it's just like, that, that, isn't that like, <laughs> isn't that like Inception? And yeah. serendipitous. And I put my hands in her uh, thing in Hollywood, too, by the, the play, a penthouse store, I think yeah. it is. I feel she's blessing our production. Well, I have such a huge respect for her, and a lot of people have been asking me if there's going to be a porn star in Rabbit. I know so many adult film actors that I want to put in there. Not necessarily Rose. Wouldn't it be nice to see some of the guys in there? Especially if she's going to be taking some guys down. Maybe sure, some... sure. I want some guy to get it. Some adult film guy to get it. Oh, which one? Xander Corvus. He, he deserves it. He deserves it. I don't think in enough uh, movies use uh, male porn stars. If you see a porn star, it's usually the, the female yeah. tool. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think because we're 80s brats, I want to see porn stars and wrestlers and rock stars and everything. I don't know when people stop doing that. I'm still doing it. How did you get involved with Rabbit? Were you approached or did you guys want to do it or was it kind of like half and half? Well, we were approached and I didn't know if it was a serious email and I looked into it and it actually was. It was by the people that were owning the rights still. And I don't like remakes unless you're able to bring something new and we're definitely bringing something new, but it's also an extension of a lot of the thoughts that David had. In his commentary even, he mentions there's things that he missed out on doing. So we're going to put those in our film to be like, oh, David, whatever you want. It's almost like a love letter to David. Because there's three it's levels totally to the movie. There's a level just for David, like personal stuff for him. There's one. That's, that's where the restraining order comes that's in. That's where the restraining order comes in. Like, we have the motorcycle that... We, we Listen, we studied at Cronenberg. We're not fucking this up. This is our biggest opportunity. <laughs> Ten years into his career, he remade The Fly. We get to remake Rabbit. I feel like that's like the Canadian gods being like, Why dub you? You're going to be able to do this. What's your favorite Cronenberg film? Dead, yeah, ringers. Dead ringers. Dead ringers. <laughs> I don't want to mess this one up so I can get dead ringers. And we want to do two female proctologists. The Olsen twins. I want the Olsen twins to come. They don't need to do a movie. Just show them. Mary Kate and Ashley, I know you're watching. Just show them how damn good you are. Just show them once. Win all your little art house awards and then go back to being billionaires and fabulous. Do it as a lull to yourselves. <laughs> all right. Um... Let me ask about a uh, elevator. What could you tell me? Uh, how was how is it a shooting? Because I was out blast watching you girls. 
I love Elevator. Currently, it's like Faulty Towers. There's like 12 episodes that everyone keeps watching and asking for more. I don't know if it's going to be coming back. I know that if you freak out and get mad at Elevator, don't get mad, but express your concern and love for it. And there's always a chance it could go to another network. Although I loved working with GSN. I still can't believe they paid us to make fun of scared people. <laughs> oh, you poor bastards. Well, you know, elevators, they go up and down. I'm sure it'll come back up. <laughs> I hope so. All right. Well, final question. Uh, any uh, final words or thoughts for your fans out there who all love you so much? Uh, thank you for loving us. Follow your stupid fucking dreams. Yeah. Follow your uh, stupid fucking dreams and be good to each other. There's so much bullshit in the world. Be good to even shitty people because they need it the best. Yeah. You to inception them. Learn what made them shitty and then blossom something compassionate. Who knows? No one's born shitty. They get treated shitty and they become shittier. Reverse the shittiness. Be nice. Break the chain. All right. Thank you so much. From Monster Mania, this is Master Geo with the Twisted Twins. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you for having us. Thank you. It, we're only here because of you. I know. Oh, you brought us oh, into Monster you. Mania. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Bye, fans.